Alright guys, today Watering Waves officially posted a new incoming event which we should be expecting to drop tomorrow night, giving us huge rewards. We're getting a bunch of Astrites, a bunch of materials, and a new Phantom Echo. They put out some patch notes as well for this event, so we can take a look at that. And we can also talk about the other events that we can expect coming out really, really soon. So if you guys want to keep being updated on everything Watering Waves, make sure to like, subscribe, and put those notifications on. At 10,000 subscribers, I'm also doing a giveaway for you guys. But alright, let's not waste any time guys, I'm going straight into the new patch notes from today. Here we have the new Elusive Realm event. So we have Event Notice, Deaths of Elusive Realm, Carnival in Slumberland coming soon. And as you can see the event duration, the start date is on the 22nd of August. So to me that's going to be tomorrow night for Eastern Time, I don't know about you guys. But this event is going to be here for a while, nearly a whole month. So we don't need to rush unless you really want the materials really bad then do what you gotta do but now let's take a look at the rewards guys i'm sure we're all here to see what are the new rewards for the new elusive realm and we got a thousand astrites the new phantom dreamless a malleable elite class echo then we got a second one and then we got some premium sealed tubes and other development materials as we can expect this is the pretty much the same thing as the last elusive realm event but this time we're getting a phantom dreamless and as you can see here we can see already what it looks like i really like the colors i think it looks pretty cool but of course in terms of rewards nothing's gonna beat that a thousand asteroids but moving on let's see what else we have here so we have this picture here it gives like a little lore about the elusive realm then we got the event duration again the eligibility you do have to be union level 17 and here is just a visual demonstration of the rewards and as you can see here the new phantom dreamless the picture for it and now we have a new theme so the available resonators are going to be different this time and we we're going to have the new resonators for this one which is going to be both zezi and zeng liao and they also put in yan wu and dan jin so four more resonators are going to be included. We got Zeze, Zeng Liao, Yan Wu, and Dan Jin that are added to the challenge with their corresponding resonator trials available. Now one thing to note, Zeng Liao is not going to be in the game or his banner is still not in the game when this event is going to drop. So as it says here, Zeng Liao will become available after the date on the 7th of September which is going to be his release date. And we do have a visual of the Phantom Echo right here, looking pretty good. Carnival Concerto. Phantom Dreamless offers a boost for his Concerto companion by increasing their skill damage. And now moving on, we have Battle Scene. So this is going to be the new, uh, kind of like a new map for the Elusive Realm. I'm pretty sure I've seen these this picture in the leaks before. Um, this is like a little summer themed event that they're putting in looks pretty good and we have difficulty uh, pretty standard we got from level 60 up to all the way up to level 90 it says difficulty 6 will be available for players to challenge death of elusive realm um, yeah that wasn't there before so we have a new difficulty and the new difficulty level introduces more memory zones along with changes to the battle scenes and domain effects that now provide buffs to the to your enemies and it says here difficulty 6 will become available after the 7th of september so only after zing liao drops this new difficulty is going to come out but yeah guys i think this is going to conclude the event for the new elusive realm that will be dropping tomorrow night so that is all we will have this week but we do still have the information of what else is going to be coming out this patch. So I want to do a little recap in this video for you guys. So you know exactly what to expect for the 1.2 patch. Alright guys, so I have the events pulled up now. And we can see here that we already got nearly half the events of 1.2 out already. So we got the Gift of Lunar Radiance on right now. 
and then we have the new elusive realm coming out in two days and then we have the by moons uh, grace event that's already out and pretty fun event but now let's take a look at the new events that will be coming out soon so the next event that we can expect will be coming out on the 5th of september and this is called the dream of electric sheep this is the co-op event so if you guys were looking forward to play with your friends or to play with randoms as a co-op event then you'll look forward to this because this is a tower defense based mode and as you can see here you enter a special simulation domain to protect the devices from tacit discords and these enemies are gonna attack until they are all eliminated and the rewards for this one are gonna be 500 asteroids, more malleable elite class echoes and one and two more premium sealed tubes and some shell credits so it looks like a really fun event as soon as I saw a tower defense mode, I was already hyped for this. And this event is going to be coming out in around two weeks, guys. And what else is going to be coming after? So we have the Alloy Smelt number two. If you guys remember the first Alloy Smelt, that event gave so many good rewards. We got a bunch of materials. And here we're getting the same thing. 500 asteroids, more malleable class echoes one and two more premium resonance potion and some premium energy core so pretty nice it should be the same thing as the last event except maybe a, a different map and different enemies but i would say the format should be the same so this is what you can expect and if i go here i believe that is all that we have in terms of events but we do have some material double drop events that will be coming soon as well so on the 29th of August, we will have a material drop event. And this one is going to be for the forgery challenge and the simulation challenge double drops. So three times a day, you'll have double drops for this, for this event for around one week. And then we have a second double drop event coming later, which are going to be for the echoes. This event is going to come in a little while. Um, on the 20th of September so right at the end of the 1.2 patch we're going to be getting a echo double drop event this event lasting us another week so I believe that is all the events that we have for 1.2 a nice little recap a lot of amazing rewards and don't forget the by moon's grace event I forgot to mention this we will be getting Zing Liao from that event only when his banner drops so make sure to play that event guys and to have enough points in that event so once Zhang Liao drops you'll have him for free right away but yeah guys that is all for this video ton of hype events ton of rewards this new elusive realm event sounds pretty fun let me know what you guys think in the comments are these enough rewards or not for me personally they are quite enough we have been eating good and watering waves and make sure to like and subscribe and put those notifications on guys we are expecting in two days guys we're expecting the 1.3 beta to be ongoing which means we will finally see what shorekeeper and yohu's animations are and i will post it on the channel the second it drops so thank you guys for watching and see you all in the next one